In an astonishing breakthrough, Zimbabwean innovator Maxwell Chumbo has taken on a challenge that many believe to be impossible, to drive a self-sustaining electric vehicle from Zimbabwe all the way to Cairo, Egypt. This ambitious 7,500K expedition is not only a testament to the vehicle's potential, but also a bold statement that the world can finally reduce its dependence on fossil fuels. However, as the journey unfolds, it is becoming increasingly evident that even the most visionary technological advancements come with their own set of hurdles. Delays, mechanical failures, bureaucratic red tape, and security risks have begun to slow the progress. Let's take a deeper dive into the obstacles Maxwell Chikumbutso's self-sustaining vehicle is facing as it attempts to reshape the future of transportation. Maxwell Chikumbutso is well known for his groundbreaking ideas. A Zimbabwean entrepreneur and inventor, he has dedicated many years to developing technologies aimed at minimizing the world's reliance on traditional energy sources. His most famous creation is a self-powered electric vehicle, a car designed to generate its own energy, eliminating the need for external charging stations or fossil fuels. Maxwell's dream is truly revolutionary. He envisions a future where transportation is completely powered by renewable energy, reducing the environmental harm caused by conventional fuel-powered cars. With his self-sustaining vehicle, he hopes to prove to the world that this future is within reach. However, the road to bringing innovation to life is never easy, and Maxwell's journey to Cairo has been filled with unexpected roadblocks and delays. Creating new technology, especially something as advanced as a self-sustaining vehicle, comes with challenges that are difficult to predict. Maxwell's car is an ambitious attempt to address the global energy crisis, but making such a concept work in real-world conditions is no small feat. The first issue that Maxwell and his team encountered was the car's performance. While the self-sustaining technology worked effectively in controlled conditions, ensuring that it could perform consistently over a long journey was a different challenge. The car needed to demonstrate that it could not only endure the wear and tear of the road, but also generate and store enough energy to travel extended distances, particularly in regions with limited infrastructure. As the expedition commenced, Maxwell's team faced difficulties with the vehicle's battery management system. It did not provide the expected efficiency. Although the battery technology was innovative, it required modifications to sustain the necessary energy output for prolonged travel. This setback resulted in significant delays in the journey. For a project of this magnitude, one of the biggest challenges often comes not from the technology itself, but from bureaucratic procedures. Navigating international borders, obtaining necessary permits, and meeting regulatory requirements for an unconventional vehicle pose serious difficulties. The vehicle's unique nature raised questions at various border checkpoints. Each country had its own regulations regarding registration, inspections, and emissions testing, making the process even more complicated. In several countries, the vehicle was classified under a new undefined category, which left border officials unsure of how to handle it. Maxwell's team experienced prolonged delays at numerous border crossings while awaiting approvals and clearances. These bureaucratic challenges were further compounded by diplomatic and legal concerns as different governments questioned the safety and long-term feasibility of the vehicle. Apart from technical and bureaucratic issues, Maxwell also faced significant financial difficulties that threatened to halt the project. Although his vision of a self-powered electric vehicle gained global interest, securing enough funding to sustain the journey was a continuous struggle. To make the Cairo trip possible, Maxwell depended on a combination of private investments, collaborations with renewable energy firms, and crowdfunding. However, ensuring a steady flow of funds to cover expenses related to travel, logistics, and vehicle maintenance proved to be an uphill battle. Despite Maxwell's reputation as an innovator, convincing investors to support a project that pushed technological boundaries was not easy. Many investors hesitated due to the lack of a well-established track record for such a groundbreaking car, as well as skepticism about its real-world practicality. The financial strain led to additional delays and critical upgrades and repairs needed for the vehicle. Maxwell had to carefully manage the timing of the journey while waiting for financial resources to be available. As the journey stretched on, pressure mounted from investors, media outlets, and the public, all eager for progress update. One of the most unforeseen challenges came in the form of security risks in certain regions. Some of the countries the vehicle needed to pass through were experiencing conflict or political instability, posing threats to both the car and the team. Traveling through such areas raised concerns about the safety of the crew, their equipment, and the vehicle itself. 
The futuristic design of the car made it a potential target for theft or sabotage. In some areas, local authorities and security forces were reluctant to provide assistance, making the journey even more difficult. In certain cases, the team had to make last-minute changes to their route to avoid high-risk zones. This required recalculating the journey and making new logistical arrangements further delaying the mission. These security concerns highlighted the importance of local support. Without strong backing from local collaborators, the expedition could have faced even more severe challenges. Environmental activists, government officials, and local supporters played an essential role in helping the team navigate dangerous regions, safeguard the vehicle, and ensure the crew's security. However, unpredictability in local politics and occasional miscommunication meant that, despite the best efforts, some delays were unavoidable. A journey of this scale naturally attracted significant media attention. To showcase the capabilities of the self-powered vehicle, Maxwell collaborated with multiple camera crews to document the journey. This documentation was meant to highlight the car's performance and generate global awareness of the project. However, coordinating with media teams and journalists introduced additional difficulties. Transporting camera equipment, scheduling interviews, and managing footage from various locations added logistical complexities to an already challenging journey. Technical difficulties with filming equipment and unreliable communication from certain media outlets led to missed deadlines for content releases. Furthermore, some media sources questioned the credibility of the project, pointing to the delays and mechanical issues as signs that the vehicle might not be as groundbreaking as initially claimed. This skepticism, fueled by inconsistent media coverage, created doubt among the public about the vehicle's true potential. Despite all these obstacles, Maxwell Chikambutso's self-powered electric vehicle remains a beacon of hope for a future powered by clean, renewable energy. Though the journey from Zimbabwe to Cairo has faced numerous setbacks, it is not over yet. Maxwell and his team remain determined to push through the difficulties and prove that self-sustaining transportation is not just a possibility, but a necessity for a greener future. The technological struggles, bureaucratic hurdles, and logistical challenges have only strengthened the resolve of Maxwell and his team. They believe that once they reach Cairo, their success will ignite a global movement toward energy-efficient transportation. Maxwell's journey is not just about reaching a destination, it's about inspiring change and proving that innovation can break barriers.